The countdown has begun at Starbase. Right now, SpaceX engineers are working around the clock as Booster 15 makes its journey to the launch mount. This isn't just another routine test. We're witnessing history in the making as the next Starship flight draws near. See that massive ring structure? That's the hot staging ring, the critical component where the magic happens. When Starship and Super Heavy are still connected, this engineering marvel channels the intense flames as the second stage engines ignite. It's revolutionary rocket science happening right before our eyes. The Starbase landscape continues to evolve. That second tower in the background? It's the future of SpaceX's ambitious launch cadence. While it doesn't have its chopsticks or orbital launch mount yet, construction is accelerating daily. And there's something you might have missed. That orange octagon with the number one is an explosives placard. Its presence near the high bay means one thing. Flight termination system work is underway. When you see these signs, you know a launch is imminent. The nighttime fog at Starbase creates an almost otherworldly scene, like something straight out of science fiction. But this isn't fiction. This is humanity's path to becoming multiplanetary, happening in real time in South Texas. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your front row seat to the space revolution. Let's dive right in. Main content, SpaceX Boca Chica. Update, at the launch site, activity has reached fever pitch. The second tower stands tall in the distance, instantly recognizable by the absence of chopsticks beneath it. This tower represents SpaceX's commitment to increasing launch frequency, a crucial step toward making space travel routine rather than exceptional. Meanwhile, the subcoolers, those vital components that chill propellants to maximize density and performance, are being repositioned across the facility. One particularly massive unit resembles a gray hippo being moved with industrial slings. Its stegosaurus-like fins might look peculiar, but every design element serves a specific engineering purpose in the quest for optimal propellant conditioning. Over at the assembly yard, the flame deflector continues to take shape. Those seemingly rusty beams you see aren't signs of neglect. They're temporary alignment fixtures that ensure millimeter-perfect positioning of the complex pipe systems. When Super Heavy ignites its 33 Raptor engines, the precision of these systems will make the difference between a successful launch and a catastrophic failure. Something interesting is happening with Ship 32. Technicians are carefully removing heat shield tiles, and if you look closely, you'll notice unusual shapes and patterns. These aren't standard rectangular tiles, but specialized geometries designed for areas with complex thermal profiles. Every modification to these tiles represents lessons learned from previous flights, a physical manifestation of SpaceX's rapid iterative design philosophy. Heading up Highway 4, the landscape transforms from industrial to commercial with the Rio West development taking shape. This area will eventually support the growing ecosystem around SpaceX operations, housing, stores, and services for the expanding workforce. The proximity to Brownsville highlights how aerospace innovation is revitalizing this entire region of Texas. Continuing our journey, we reach Massey's test site, where booster components undergo rigorous testing before integration. In the background, another hot staging ring moves under cover of darkness. These critical components allow Starship to perform its revolutionary hot staging maneuver where the second stage engines ignite while still attached to the booster. This technique maximizes efficiency but requires precisely engineered hardware to prevent catastrophic failure. Pay special attention to that yellow-orange octagonal placard with the number one prominently displayed. This is an explosives warning sign indicating the presence of flight termination system components. These systems are the ultimate safety backstop. If a launch goes wrong, they ensure the vehicle can be safely destroyed before endangering population centers. Their presence on the mega bay means flight preparations are advancing rapidly. The pumping systems continue to evolve as well. Those red valve actuators you see are specifically designed to remain operational in extreme conditions. They're positioned away from the cryogenic flow to prevent freezing and might be colored red to indicate their emergency function the ability to instantly halt propellant flow if sensors detect anomalies. Watch the elegant dance of the chopsticks on the first tower, their battle-scarred appearance telling the story of previous launches and catches. 
Meanwhile, the second tower gleams in the background, its pristine surfaces soon to be tested by the harsh realities of rocket operations. The cladding installation continues at Pad A, providing crucial protection to sensitive equipment. Then in what seems like a puzzling shell game, the hot staging rings move in and out of storage areas. This isn't random, it's a carefully choreographed floor space management system. These massive components take up valuable workspace, so they're repositioned as needed to accommodate other critical assembly tasks. Speaking of construction, the mural that once featured a Mars banner now receives a fresh coat of paint. This isn't just decoration, it's a visual reminder of the ultimate destination driving all this frantic activity. At Pad B, an unusual A-shaped structure is taking form. This isn't part of the orbital launch mount itself, but rather a supporting element of the pad's gantry system. Unlike Pad A, this new launch site incorporates a flame trench dug into the ground, a more traditional rocket launch architecture that will redirect the enormous energy of Super Heavy's engines away from the pad infrastructure. The orbital tank farm, the heart of the propellant storage system, continues to expand. Several vertical tanks now complement the horizontal ones we've become familiar with, increasing storage capacity for future operations. The massive pumps and valves connecting these tanks represent some of the largest cryogenic fluid systems ever built for a launch facility. Taking a closer look at the gantry construction, we can see how meticulously every component is being installed. Steel plates with precisely positioned bolt holes align with matching patterns in the concrete foundations. Cross beams provide additional structural support, creating a rock-solid framework that will eventually support the full weight of Starship, the largest and most powerful rocket system ever built. In a fascinating detail, you can occasionally spot workers at the top of these structures, providing a humbling sense of scale. These tiny silhouettes remind us of the enormous size of what we're witnessing. Interestingly, the launch mount itself appears weathered and hasn't received a fresh coat of paint before this upcoming flight. This suggests SpaceX may be planning for this mount's limited future. Perhaps once the second mount is operational, this original equipment will be upgraded or replaced entirely. Around the facility, various components continue to arrive. Blue tanks and distinctive yellow parts, creating a colorful industrial landscape. Tarped materials with labels suggest supply chain management is functioning smoothly despite the unprecedented scale of what's being built. The triangular arrow covers for the booster's aerodynamic control surfaces a weight installation. These components feature tile standoff pins, similar to those on Starship, suggesting shared thermal protection technology between the stages. Boosters 14 and 15 continue preparation in parallel. Booster 14 has already completed a mission, but extensive work continues, perhaps indicating SpaceX plans to refly this booster, achieving another crucial milestone in reusability. As Booster 15 emerges from the Mega Bay, we get a clear view of its grid fins positioned at angles rather than flat. This configuration likely improves visibility during transport and inspection, making it easier to spot any issues before flight. Once at the pad, these will flatten to their aerodynamic positions for launch. The sheer scale becomes apparent when you notice a Mustang parked near the hot staging ring. The car could easily fit inside the booster's circumference with room to spare. This visual reinforces just how massive these vehicles truly are. The carefully orchestrated movement of components continues as both the hot staging ring and Booster 15 on its transport stand roll toward the launch site. They travel separately because the hot staging ring, while critical for flight, blocks access to important equipment at the booster's top. By keeping them apart during transport, technicians can continue working on these systems until the final integration at the pad. Watch the self-propelled modular transporters, SPMTs, performing their remarkable crab walk maneuver with wheels turning nearly 90 degrees to enable precise positioning of these enormous structures. This ballet of heavy machinery represents engineering at its finest, moving components weighing hundreds of tons with millimeter precision. As night falls, a low fog rolls across the launch site, creating an otherworldly atmosphere as the towering rocket structures pierce through the mist. The moon passes overhead, a reminder of past exploration and future ambitions. This isn't just an industrial facility, it's humanity's gateway to becoming multiplanetary. 
The final preparations continue as the booster reaches its destination at the launch mount. The hot staging ring will soon be lifted into position, completing another critical milestone on the path to flight. The engineering team will verify every system, sensor, and connection before giving final approval to proceed. Just days from now, what appears as static hardware will transform into a dynamic machine. Channeling the awesome power of Raptor engines to propel Starship toward space, this isn't just a test flight, it's the next chapter in the greatest engineering story of our generation. As we watch these final preparations unfold at Starbase, we're witnessing more than just rocket assembly. We're seeing humanity's interplanetary future taking shape in real time. Every weld, every test, every component moved across this Texas coastline brings us one step closer to becoming a multi-planet species. The pace of innovation at SpaceX continues to defy expectations. What took aerospace companies decades in the past now happens in months or even weeks. This relentless progress is transforming not just how we access space, but what we believe is possible. When Starship finally lifts off on its next flight, remember that you're watching history unfold, a critical milestone in our journey to Mars and beyond. This isn't just SpaceX's achievement, it's humanity's next giant leap. If you've enjoyed this inside look at Starbase operations, make sure to hit that like button and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Your support helps our channel continue bringing you the latest SpaceX developments. Have thoughts about the upcoming launch or spotted something interesting in today's footage? Drop a comment below. I read every single one and love discussing these engineering marvels with you. For daily updates on all things for SpaceX and Elon Musk ventures, subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit the notification bell. You won't miss a single development in this incredible journey to make life multiplanetary. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next update as we continue tracking humanity's greatest adventure. Until then, keep looking up.